So I've just started enchanting in our better Minecraft world, but the luck is not exactly with us. All we've managed to get is one enchant on our axe and pick. So I was thinking of ways to get books to add on to that, and I think fishing is a good option, as well as loot chests. So I think today we will start with both some fishing and some exploring. I also am very curious if fishing is any different in modern Minecraft. Like, I wonder if it'll give us all the same stuff or if there'll be anything different. Let's see, I think this area should be deep enough for treasure. Either way, I love a good fishing session. Oh! And we got a good old puffer fish. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, that was different. What was that? A crate. I guess fishing is kind of a modded experience. Wait, it said break with... Is it an axe or a pick? Why didn't I read this properly? What the heck? A frilled shark plushie. <gasps> this is so cute. What the heck? Okay, I want more of these plushies. He's so adorable. Oh my gosh. What's his name? It's Sharky. That's as good as I can do. And we've been fishing for a while, but I am going to give up on it now because as you can see, the river is freezing over. It's become winter, which is so cool, so cozy. Oh, my fish has finished cooking. Pop some salmon on as well. I love how the seasons are changing. There's snow appearing too, but as we were on our little fishing platform, everything just slowly became ice. Oh, I will pick up all of these little squids because I think in winter we are going to have a little bit of trouble with food because a lot of our crops won't grow. Most of this is wheat that I planted on I think the last day of autumn and I don't know if it's growing at all. So we'll see if we can survive our first winter. But okay, fishing haul. We have all of these cool new fish. We have eels, all of these. I don't know. This is a stingray. I don't know what we're actually supposed to do. Is this placeable? Is it cookable? Is it eatable? Yes, it's eatable. I feel weird eating all these colourful tropical looking fish. I might just pop these in a little fish chest. But we also got a couple more crates to open together, so let's do that. And we also got a message in a jar. Oh my gosh, it's rickrolling us. No! <laughs> what is this game? That is so funny. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a different kind of shark plushie. <gasps> Cute, this one's really chubby. And this one is some cocoa beans. Oh, we kind of need them, I guess. We didn't actually get any enchanted books, though. We got our first enchanted bow. This is so cute. Sharky and Bruce. Oops. Sorry, Bruce. But next, we'll see if we can get any enchanted books or any other cool loot on a little exploration adventure. So I've made our very first backpack. I think it goes in here. Oh, you can see it on our back. It's kind of funny with the cape on, though. Oh, it only gives us three slots. Okay, we'll try a frayed backpack. And this has one, two, three, four, nine slots. It's a little bit better. We might as well bring both of them with us. And okay, I think we're ready. If we have a look at our map, there's a few places that are on the map that I haven't actually seen yet. So we've got a building over here. And then there's a building and what looks like some kind of ruins over here, as well as a new biome. So let's start by going to take a look at that and we can just kind of speed down the river. Oh, okay, the first thing I'm seeing is this birch pillager tower over here. Pillagers in this mod pack are scary because they have axes they can throw, but I still want to run in here and see what we can get. I think now we're nice and safe. We've got flax seeds, which we already have. I don't think we... Oh, we don't actually have carrots yet. We'll take those. And a bottle of enchanting. Yay, we're level 30 again. That's kind of all there is here, but oh, look at this cool biome. It's pink and there's stuff over there. So let's go check that out. Do a little water bucket and run. Oh, there's a villager here. Hello, is this place a village? You guys are dangerously close to the pillagers. This biome is so pretty though. It's like a modded cherry blossom biome. It's very small though. Cotton Sakura sapling and Sakura logs. They're like a nice brown color. Ooh, lovely. I'm also gonna grab some lily pads. And let's see, what have we got over here? It's kind of like village ruins. Ooh, in the dead of winter where wheat will not grow, I will take it. Oh, okay, they've actually got a whole lot of it. Ooh, here's some goodies. We haven't found any other villagers. Does this village just have one villager? Even on the map, it looks like he's all alone. We might have to come back for him and bring him home with us. 
but in the meantime I can see a bunch more ruins on the map nearby so let's go over there. Oh wait we're here already okay that was deceptively close. Whoa there's a lot of iron and pots in this hole and also some of the ruins are down here. I love these little pots. It gave us ash though okay it's very concerning. There's not much else going on with that village but we do have this building here and it's got really bad sounds coming from it. Like a woodland mansion type sounds I don't think we're ready for this. I just want to have a little peek inside. I have a feeling that the switch will open these doors maybe but also I don't really want to try it. What's down here? It looks like water. Okay we're not actually that far from home. I think what we're gonna do, compromise, is go make a good sword so that we can feel a little bit safer and then come back. Also if we can use up some of our levels that'd be kind of handy because I don't really want to lose 30 levels. But I also want to try new things and not be a total baby about it. We can get sharpness one, I'm breaking two, or skill smite? Sharpness one, should we just do a reroll? Looting three, fire aspect. Okay, I'm gonna go for looting. Oh, it gave us other things. I'm breaking and smite. We don't really want smite in the long term, but I'm breaking is great. I'm talking like we're not about to just lose this sword anyway. Off to our death. Okay, are we ready to fall in the hole? One, two, three. Ah! Okay, I see light. Lots of light. I hear voices. Ah! What was that? No, 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 no. We're going in the other direction. Why do I feel like we're gonna get very lost in here? I'm scared. Oh, oh my gosh, there's diamonds. This is good loot. Good loot usually means we're somewhere not good though. I'm not hearing any more noises over here though. Maybe they were all on the other side. What's this room? Oh, there's things. Candles, I want candles. And a potion of strength and swiftness. Oh, I just realized we can kind of see on the mini map where the guys are. There seems to only be about four of them. I can hear one. Is there another one here? Oh, hello. You're not modded. I know who you are. Oh, oh no. Should we try go for him? This would be better if we had a bow. That was actually not too bad. I think that's about all there is down here though. We seem to have gotten the loot. There's not that many rooms, it's mostly just hallways. I wonder if we can find our way back. Oh, I think it's this way. Is this the hole we fell into? Yes, it is. We're gonna just pillar our way back up. And we made it. I'm kind of curious what's in here. Oh, what are you? <gasps> there's, yeah, okay, there's a few bad guys. I think that is the black of an evoker as well. And I noped out of that, but on the bright side, we made it back home in one piece. Whoa, I'm just noticing, do you guys see that icicle behind us? What the heck, this is so cool. Oh, I can't have it. Maybe it's a silk touch thing, I don't think we have any more yet. That is really cool though, but anyway, I want to get on to doing some building for today. So we've got our starter house over here and our enchanting set up here, and we have this broken bridge that spawned here, which goes over to this other piece of land, but I wanted to fix up the bridge and make it a part of our base. And then after that I was thinking of making some farmland somewhere over here. Oh my gosh, slippery ice. I can't control my walking properly. And I'm hoping that by the time we're done with the farmland it'll become spring and then we can actually use the crops. I definitely want to use some more of this stone brick but also incorporate a bit of spruce and some lanterns. So we've got this giant tree which has just grown so we'll grab that. Along with some stone smelting which we can turn into a mossy stone brick. Where is our thingy? And some of it can have vines. We'll also get some of these modded flowery vines to drape over the bridge. And what else? Oh I think we'll grow another maple tree and then we'll share the leaves and put them on the bridge. So hopefully this grows in winter. Oh yep that was no problem. Okay, let's start by trying to fix up the basics and then we can customize it. Hmm, this middle bit could go up even further, like the arch could be higher than the sides. Let's give that a go. Yeah, I think that is good. And now we've restored all of the stone brick elements, don't mind the cobble, I think we're going to replace that with spruce. So let's add some of that in and see how it looks. 
Oh, I kind of hate these vertical slabs just because of the way they place. Like, how am I supposed to... It won't even let me place it. We will just use a full block there. Now I think it's essentially a case of messing around with all the details until it looks good. I want to do something with these little stone pillar things here. I was thinking I wonder what they'd look like if they were partly mangrove. That may be a little odd. Do they need to come out even further? Is that what it is? I then added in all of the little lanterns and leaves and details to the bridge. We may or may not have had a creeper accident to fix, luckily it didn't affect the bridge. So we'll just patch that up. But here is the bridge, it's looking much better all restored. Isn't it cute from this angle as well, it goes with the tower so nicely. But I think once you have a bridge it's probably time to add some paths, so I'd really like some coarse dirt to come along here to our starter house and also through the enchanting tower. This is our current shovel, so I think we'll make our first decent shovel and then go find some coarse dirt. I know there's biomes nearby that do have it, where is diamonds? So where is your other llama? Oh wait, I found it. It is very random. Oh wait, let's see what we can get on our shovel as well. I'm breaking, oh that's a good one. I don't know where we put our, wait where did we put the lapis? Well, I guess we can't enchant if we have no lapis. That's kind of annoying. Maybe we can find some while we're out somewhere. I know it tends to be low down, but you never know. I just want the unbreaking before we half break our shovel. Oh, there's iron. Oh, there's lapis. Oh my gosh. That was actually lucky. Um, we need a door or something. Thank you, Minecraft. Then we'll block a couple of these and we'll see, can we get efficiency? Oh, it changed it. But I mostly want unbreaking, so we're going to try level up to level 30. Please give us silk touch as well. Efficiency I'm breaking. I didn't particularly want that but I'll take it. And now we can easily get, I think this is coarse dirt for our paths. Yes it is, okay. Look at this, we only have a few more days of winter left. I am ready for spring, but we also now have this brand new coarse dirt path. I added some rose bushes, some fences with these custom lanterns, and I love these piles of leaves to go on the paths. I think they're so cute, but it goes to our bridge and it also goes to our enchanting setup over here. I'm feeling like our base looks much more organized now. What I think could be really cute is if we had some of our less used crops just in little patches around next to the paths. So this pumpkin can go here, but then what if this little bit of land here was for tomatoes, for example, and we could just make a little kind of raised garden bed for them? Would that be cute? I think that'd be cute. We'll punch out this bit for water and put an upside down stair, and then till the land. Then we can grab some tomato seeds and what's the bet our new tomato plants won't even grow this season? Uh, yes, it literally says it won't grow this season. But do we think this will be cute once it's all grown? I don't know about the pink. Maybe we'll try mangrove or spruce. Oh, and we can put a little sign that says tomatoes, like you might have a community garden. And spring has officially sprung. You can tell because the river is unfrozen, the tree leaves are green, although there's still a lot of snow behind me. And I've been working on the little tubs of crops. So we have the tomato one that you guys saw. 
We've got our cute little tomato sign and they're now actually growing. But then over here we also have cabbages growing. There's not many yet, but I think this one's nearly done. It says growth 86% in the corner. Then behind the cabbages we have a sweet potato one. I've actually labelled the sign Kumra. Because fun fact, that is what we tend to call it in New Zealand. It is the Maori word for sweet potato. Then the last mini veggie garden that we have for now is over here and it is beetroot. These are not fully grown yet, but when they are, they also have tiny little cute flowers on them. So they're going to look adorable. We still have other modded crops, so as we expand and build more, we'll have more room to create more little crop patches. I know we have asparagus and flax, and of course there's just like potatoes and carrots. But I want to grab a spot to create a slightly bigger wheat field. Nothing huge, but maybe, maybe we could do it over here somewhere. We just need to terraform it a bit, so we'll grab some dirt. And we'll fill in this weird little bit. These cute little birdies are hanging around while we were planting seeds. I wonder if they like them. Oh, I think we can befriend them, but they're kind of acting like parrots. I don't know if I'll have enough seeds for you. <gasps> we did it! And we got the best friends forever advancement. Okay, can we get the other one? Hello. <gasps> we did it! I love their little chips and how it has a music note next to them sometimes. They're so cute. You two are so cute. You can come sit by the wheat field. But we've got our wheat field growing. It's not super cute or anything, but it is practical. And with all of our little veggie gardens, our bridge that we built today, and our paths, and we did a dungeon. I think that will be all for today, so leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next Better Minecraft adventure. Bye-bye!